What's up guys, Bearded Jupiter here. Today, this is a sponsored video by ProClip USA. They sent me a phone holder for the inside of the Jeep. So let's go get it installed. So first you're gonna take this gap opener they supply and you're gonna stick it behind your top dash mount thing here. Slide that behind there. That just opens up this gap so you can slide this piece in a little bit better. Uh, next we're gonna remove the adhesive backing on this. Maybe. All right, we got the adhesive backing removed. Now you're gonna wanna slide the, uh, the actual mount onto your gap to, and then you're gonna slide it to your left while pushing down so it actually goes behind here. Make sure it actually clips in behind there. And you're gonna wanna slide it to the left where you want it and then you're gonna Press down a little bit to hold it in place. Then you're gonna grab behind here and pull it. And it slides up over this. And you just wanna make sure it's pressed down into place. You need to adjust the mount to fit your specific phone because they're universal. They'll fit a few different types of phones. So you're gonna take this top screw and this bottom screw and you're gonna loosen them. But make sure you don't remove them completely. You're just gonna loosen them so you can move these in and out freely. Then you're gonna grab your phone and slide your phone in and uh, close the arms around it carefully without uh, changing the size of the mount. You're gonna slide your phone out and then you're gonna tighten these two screws back up. And then you just wanna double check, make sure your phone fits in there nice still. Next we need to mount this to the, the base that we put on. So you're gonna reach in here and loosen this one screw completely. I guess it's on there pretty tight. Um, it'll get to a point where it feels like it's gonna come out, but the screw won't come out. It'll get really loose and then should be able to pry. There we go. It pops, it's scary, but it, it doesn't break. All right, now you're gonna take this and there's a bunch of different holes on this mounting plate and you're gonna find whichever ones work best for you. There we go. Looks like those four line up like that and use the supplied screws to uh, mount this on there. Probably the trickiest part of the whole install. There we go. And then you just screw that back in. All right, now I kind of had a little trouble with this part. Um, I kept tightening this screw and it just wouldn't seem to get tight. Uh, it took a little trial and error, but uh, we figured it out. You actually have to make sure whatever way you mount that base plate, you have to match that with the, the same way of the holder. And then it'll kind of click into place. So if it doesn't work one way, turn it, try it, try tightening it. It'll work only one way. I'm going to take it for a test drive on the road. So we'll see if it shakes at all, uh, what it looks like. Because I want something that's going to hold up and be sturdy on the road and especially off-road, I don't want it to do a whole lot of wobbling around. I want to be able to see my phone, maybe even use this to film from the inside of the Jeep. So uh, let's go take it for a test drive and see what it does. So far, so good. I 
All right, so my overall opinions of this Pro Clip mount is I really like it. It seems to hold the phone really stable and it's really cool that you can actually adjust how much it will uh, allow you to move it. So if you want it to be easily movable or if you want it to hold it a little more tightly, you can do that. It's all up to you. You can adjust it however you want to. Now, the one thing that I didn't really care for, but that's my own doing and that's how I mounted it is I should have mounted it a little bit more to the right maybe um, closer towards the passenger seat because when I'm swinging the, the steering wheel kind of wax on wax off kind of thing um, but when I'm doing that it seems to I, I hit my hand on it so I may eventually move the the base mount over a little bit so I'm not whacking it every time I, I go to take a wide turn or something. I love it. It holds the phone great. It doesn't seem to vibrate or wiggle at all. Uh, you want to make sure it's tight enough if you're going to hit some of those heavy bumps and your Jeep bounces a lot. It may kind of kick it to the side a little bit, but uh, it doesn't shake and vibrate. I just want to say thank you to ProClip USA for sending me this, this mount. They sent me a shirt, some stickers, and uh, thank you for sponsoring this video and allowing me to have this awesome mount for my Jeep. It's really cool and if you guys want to get one for yourself, I'll put a link down in the description below so you can find a mount. They, they make it for any type of vehicle so this isn't only Jeep specific. They make all sorts of different mounts so make sure you check out their website for more information. And I hope you guys like this. As always guys, stay bearded, stay jeepin', I'm out.